Scientists are raising urgent concerns as Canada shows signs of unexpected geological activity. Subtle shifts beneath its ancient ground are challenging the belief that the country is truly stable. A massive earthquake in the far east Pacific Ocean has prompted a tsunami watch for parts of BC. Canada, long considered an iconic example of geological stability, is now entering a period that scientists say may be more active and eventful than previously supposed. For the first time in decades, the country's ancient foundations are delivering geophysical signals that are both fascinating and, to some experts, concerning. Even now, beneath snowy mountains and deep ocean floors, subtle shifts are unfolding across Canada. Movements that surprise and challenge the world's geologists, raising crucial questions about the future. What makes this period remarkable is not the magnitude of the geological changes, but their nature and the speed at which some are developing. Geologists analysing seismic data and long-standing fault records describe an environment that is far from motionless. Tectonic plates are generating signals, particularly off Canada's coasts, that defy old expectations. Remote sensors are picking up unfamiliar, low-frequency tremors, while ancient submarine volcanoes off the Pacific coast, long presumed extinct, are showing signs of subtle activity. These are not the typical earthquake swarms or background movements seen before. Rather, they are unique phenomena requiring fresh scientific scrutiny. Communities once considered safe from earthquake and volcanic hazards are now updating response plans. Emergency officials accustomed to decades of stability are re-evaluating readiness in the face of these discoveries. The revelations emerging from Canadian geology beneath soil and Arctic ice are layered with uncertainty. Even scientists are, by their own admission, astonished at the evolving data. But the implications extend deeper. What unfolds below mountain ranges and ocean trenches, the heartbeat of Earth's crust, may signal a more profound transformation. While the Canadian shield surface appears unchanged, processes deep beneath and offshore indicate the planetary forces remain active. Researchers are now focusing on tectonic movements, ancient volcanic structures, and the discovery of some of the oldest rocks ever found all of which suggest a world that is geologically dynamic, not static. If Canada's landscape looks tranquil, what truths lie hidden below? And could these shifts herald a new era in our geological story? Scientists suggest that the answer is yes, and that a convergence of extraordinary processes is guiding this chapter. Tectonic plate fragmentation, hints of ancient volcanic activity, remarkable finds of primordial rocks, and even evidence of submerged continental crust off the Canadian coasts. In light of these discoveries, a single reality becomes clear. Canada's underground is anything but unchanging. Should we be worried? As these findings accumulate, experts like Dr. Laura Sinclair at the Pacific Geoscience Centre advocate both curiosity and active preparedness. If you're drawn to the secrets the Earth holds and crave the thrill of witnessing discovery unfold, stay with us for the latest on Canada's evolving geological frontier. For most of modern history, Canada has been seen as one of the world's seismically quiet nations. The enormous Canadian shield, a stretch of ancient bedrock at the continent's heart, is older than the Himalayas, older than the Rockies, outdating most of Earth's familiar life forms. Cities across the country, built atop this ancient formation, have long felt removed from the tectonic activities that define California, Japan, or Chile. But in recent years, this sense of reassurance has begun to shift. Geologists at research institutions and government agencies have observed surprising new patterns. Seismic arrays from Vancouver Island to the Atlantic provinces suggest a rising number of atypical low-frequency tremors, signals that don't fit the classic tectonic mould. On the Pacific front, evidence has emerged that something even more dramatic is occurring. In a remote sector of the seafloor west of Vancouver Island, researchers have, for the first time, documented the fragmentation of a tectonic plate. 
data collected by Ocean Networks Canada, and analyzed by leading experts, shows that the Juan de Fuca plate, a remnant of an ancient oceanic plate subducting beneath North America, appears to be breaking up under pressure. Instead of simply sliding beneath the continent, sections of the plate are fracturing, creating new fault zones and seismic risks. Dr. Sinclair, a senior researcher monitoring these developments, explains, To document the real-time segmentation of a plate so close to shore changes our understanding of seismic risk in this region. This is a process we previously only theorized. Simultaneously, unusual tremors have registered in volcanic zones near the Pacific boundary, where Canada's underwater shelf meets Alaska's extended volcanic field. Some scientists are reassessing whether ancient volcanic areas, previously marked as dormant, could still harbour active processes. We are finding clues that Canada's volcanic systems, especially offshore, require renewed attention and monitoring, Dr. Sinclair notes. This sense of reawakening is deepened by discoveries far beneath the surface. In northern Quebec, a geological survey of Canada team uncovered rocks dating back over 4.16 billion years. These minerals, among the oldest on Earth, provide rare insight into the planet's early history a time defined by violent tectonics and formative geochemistry. As more information comes to light, the Canadian shield emerges as less an island of permanence and more a reservoir of hidden complexity. These findings prompt us to wonder, what risks might we face as the planet continues to reveal its geologic secrets? And how prepared are we for unforeseen Earth movements? Off Canada's western coast, Another profound story is playing out, far beneath the sea's surface. The ocean here lies above one of the world's more mysterious geological settings. Recently, a cluster of low-frequency rumblings caught the attention of Canadian and US research ships, monitoring the oceanic margin between Vancouver Island and southern Alaska. Initially considered background noise, these signals soon formed a repeating pattern with long pulses and sharper tremors that may indicate shifts in the Earth's crust or even volcanic movement. Dr. Jenna Russo, a leading volcanologist, headed the survey that analyzed these signals. What our systems have found isn't just elevated seismicity, it may point to renewed geological activity within ancient underwater volcano complexes, she explains. Canadian volcanology, often overshadowed by more active volcanic belts globally, has taken on new importance. A joint expedition using sonar and magnetic surveys mapped the seafloor and identified features suggesting vast calderas and vent systems lying dormant beneath layers of sediment. These areas also emitted anomalous heat and minor gas flows, all markers that can correspond with magmatic processes deep below. If these underwater volcanic systems were to reactivate even slightly, there could be consequences in terms of local hazards, such as small submarine landslides, tsunamis, or changes to ocean chemistry, says Dr. Russo. However, current evidence remains subtle and does not yet suggest imminent large-scale eruptions. Adding to the intrigue, fresh geological mapping has proposed the presence of a submerged landmass or fragment of continental crust beneath the Pacific near Canada's west coast. Studies of deep core samples indicate that this underwater structure likely shares characteristics with ancient continental rocks rather than oceanic volcanic crust. This hidden continent, as it has been nicknamed in early reports, hints at a dramatic geological past shaped by rifts and subductions over the course of billions of years. These findings are reshaping our narrative of Canada's oceanic boundaries. They show that the Earth under the ocean is still full of unanswered questions. With awakening volcanoes and their connection to submerged continental fragments, scientists are asking, what other geological surprises might the Canadian undersea frontier hold? For decades, Canadian emergency planners built their models on the notion that seismic hazard here was real, but low frequency and well mapped. The largest earthquake threats were predictable, stemming from the slow collision and subduction of the Juan de Fuca plate beneath the mainland. But recent research has forced a paradigm shift. In 2025, Ocean Bottom Research by Ocean Networks Canada 
revealed seismic activity inconsistent with those familiar models. Instead of standard subduction events, researchers documented a fragmentation process, where the Juan de Fuca plate was visibly breaking into smaller segments under stress. Seeing live data showing plate breakup was a game changer. It meant new faults, potentially active ones, were forming close offshore. Plate fragmentation introduces unpredictability to seismic risk. New boundaries mean new earthquake zones. Emergency planners are re-evaluating their hazard maps and updating protocols to reflect this heightened and complex seismic scenario. Regions once considered low risk must now prepare for the possibility of compound or cascading earthquake sequences. Meanwhile, enigmatic vibrations from within the Canadian Shield, not classic earthquakes, but deep, slow tremors have been recorded. These so-called tremor storms are rare, and their exact cause remains under study. While there is no indication that the ancient shield itself is becoming newly active on a dangerous scale, these findings prompt ongoing research into the potential for deeper crustal shifts, even in long, stable terrains. The realization that even tectonic plates can fragment, rather than simply shift, has forced a new vigilance. Modern geology must adapt swiftly to these evolving signs. Amid these seismic and volcanic revelations, another finding has made headlines. In remote Quebec, the Geological Survey of Canada uncovered some of the world's oldest rocks at 4.16 billion years. Extracted from ancient riverbeds and forests, these minerals preserve records from the earliest era of Earth, a time of rampant volcanism and planetary change. As Dr. Faisal Ahmed remarks, these rocks are a direct link to Earth's formative epoch, a period before stable continents and oceans as we know them. Their chemistry allows us to reconstruct how Earth's crust and mantle differentiated and stabilized. Key isotopic signatures found within these rocks have been sent to laboratories worldwide for analysis. They contribute to new models for how landmasses formed, how Earth cooled, and even how conditions for life might have emerged. Their presence in the Canadian Shield underscores the Shield's status as a unique archive of planetary history. For scientists and planners alike, these discoveries highlight the fact that the surface we inhabit rests on a foundation shaped by forces unimaginably old, and that under certain circumstances, new geological forces might thrust ancient material to the surface once more with unpredictable effects. Perhaps the most extraordinary recent story in Canadian geology comes from the deep Pacific and Arctic seafloor. During comprehensive mapping missions, researchers identified significant gravitational and magnetic anomalies offshore of British Columbia, consistent with large and unusually structured crustal features. Further study confirmed the presence of a submerged block of continental crust, buried beneath ocean sediments and ice. The structure is not a true continent in the full geological sense, but it fits the profile of a continental fragment, an ancient piece of crust left behind as tectonic plates rearranged through Earth's history. Dr. Lucy Peng, a chief geophysicist at the University of British Columbia, confirms, This submerged region preserves geology that's much older and different from the typical oceanic crust. Its discovery changes our understanding of Western Canada's geological boundaries. Mapping shows ancient river channels, buried valleys, and intricate fault lines, suggesting a past when sea levels and continental arrangements were vastly different. While there is no indication that this hidden continent is moving or causing immediate hazard, its presence highlights the hidden complexity of Canada's borders with the deep sea. Such fragments play a key role in regional tectonics. Where continental and oceanic crust meet, energy builds across faults and can occasionally be released in major geologic events. This discovery is driving new research and could one day shift how we assess risk along Canada's western margin. Every new survey reveals more complexity, reinforcing the sense that there are layers of history and potential hazard far below what we see at the surface. Inside Canada's seismic and volcanic monitoring centres, the atmosphere has grown steadily, 
more focused. With documented tectonic fragmentation offshore, there is new urgency about the potential for significant earthquakes. Communities along British Columbia's coastline, including Victoria and smaller towns, now live with revised assessments of risk that may demand updated emergency preparations. The connections between submarine volcano activity and onshore seismicity are a hotbed of current research. While no direct evidence yet links offshore volcanism to large earthquakes on land, Scientists are closely monitoring whether shifts beneath the Pacific margin might redistribute tectonic forces in unpredictable ways. Meanwhile, the landscape is subtly changing. The exposure of ancient rocks reminds us that geological processes can lift, move or erode vast sections of crust in geologic time, and that even seemingly immovable formations may respond to deep earth activity. As the Geological Survey of Canada emphasizes, every new discovery, from earthquakes to billion-year-old rock, fits together in an evolving story. Risks are now seen as interconnected, not isolated. With the hidden continental fragment mapped, the work of understanding these frontiers is just beginning. Each new survey uncovers more fault lines and mysteries, potentially changing how hazard is understood and managed. As emergency planners revise strategies and residents reconsider preparedness, a pressing question lingers. How well do our existing safeguards protect us from the unknown risks still buried beneath Canadian soil and sea? Stay safe and remain informed. The evolving story of Canada's underground reminds us all. Our awareness is the first safeguard in a changing world. The discoveries of recent years have challenged the legend of Canada's geological quiet, replacing it with a new perspective rooted in vigilance and humility. Beneath our feet may lie secrets older than time itself, and risks we have only begun to foresee. Share your thoughts and questions, and join us for even more insight into the ever-changing story beneath our planet's surface, where every revelation shapes not just science, but the way we live on one of Earth's most enigmatic frontiers.